including reading out behind-the-scenes information related to the classic Doctor Who serial, The Invasion, all sourced from TARDIS Data Core, the Doctor Who fan wiki. Nicholas Courtney and Kevin Stoney had previously appeared in the first episode of Watch the Birdies, also directed by Douglas Camfield, and the Avengers episode, Mission Highly Improbable. Episode 4 aired on the 23rd of November 1968, the series' 5th anniversary. Episode 6 aired on Wendy Padbury's birthday. This is the only eight-part story in the show's history. The Cyber Director was a modified version of the prop used for the Cyber Planner in the Wheel in Space. Douglas Camfield was successful in securing considerable involvement from the Ministry of Defense, who appreciated the positive light in which the script portrayed the military. The Ministry promised the use of facilities, vehicles, equipment, and troops for the serial. This was the first Cyberman story to have no involvement from Kit Pedler. Furthermore, neither Jerry Davis nor David Whitaker were available to write the script, so Derek Sherwin took the job. I thought there was a story credit from Kit Pedler. Maybe that was just an obligation at that point, because I think Kit had been responsible for the creation of the Cybermen. I'm not sure. This was originally meant to be a six-part story. It was expanded to eight parts when the Dream Spinner fell through. There were talks of bringing back Gwynfor Evans from The Web of Fear, but it was decided that such a broad Welsh stereotype would be inappropriate for a recurring role. Yeah, maybe. The servo robot from the Wheel in Space was supposed to make a cameo appearance where it would have emerged from within the Cyber Director to confront Tobias Vaughn. And those of us who were not around when the Wheel in Space aired, and it's a lost episode for us. I believe the servo robot is in a missing episode. I don't know if we actually get to see. Oh, no, wait. I think I do see this thing. This is a couple episodes that intact. Anyway. There were plans to make Isabel Watkins a regular character in season seven. As such, Sally Falcon received significant attention. Filming the helicopter scenes were delayed when the helicopter intended for use at RAF Fairford proved unavailable due to insurance problems. Among those included in the missing persons voters are Douglas Camfield, Derek Sherwin, Peter Bryant, and Terence Dix. This is the last story to be the sole writing credit of the writer in the show until Meg Loss, if pseudonyms are excluded, thus not including The Pirate Planet and The Horns of Nimon due to Douglas Adams and Anthony Reed's uncredited involvement in City of Death and the Invasion of Time, respectively under the David Agnew pseudonym. Some influences. The influence of the various spy thriller films and television shows which were popular at the time are very clear. Tobias Vaughn is similar to the supervillains featured in the James Bond films and the Avengers. The doctor acting as advisor to a military group dealing with an otherworldly menace is highly reminiscent of the Quatermass serials. Specifically, the plot of the invasion has some similarity to Quatermass 2, though not as much as some other Doctor Who stories, such as Spearhead from Space. There's been a myth that funding for the two animated episodes came from the production of Scream of the Shalka, which ran under budget. No evidence exists to suggest this. Some continuity trivia. Tobias Vaughn returns in Original Sin, a novel, in which it is revealed that not only did he survive by transferring his mind into a cybernetic body, but funded the development of Boss. Operation Golden Age and Professor J.P. Kettlewell's robot and influence the expansion and policies of the Earth Empire. Oh, goodness me. Damn. Isabel's photographs of the Cyberman invasion related to Ryder as fakes, and she became a standing joke on Fleet Street. The journalist James Stevens was highly dubious of her claims that the Earth had been invaded by robot men from outer space. She was threatened by a man with a lisp, and her boyfriend left her as his career was at risk because of their relationship. And that's from a novel called Who Killed Kennedy, However, her boyfriend was not Jimmy Turner, as they later married, as according to another novel known as The Scales of Injustice. The majority of, if not all, of the Cybermen in this story were upgraded from the colonists on ISOS 2. That's according to an audio story called the ISOS, ISOS Network. Cybermen emerging from cocoons were also used in Earthshock. They also operate in the London sewers in Attack of the Cybermen. A mass invasion of London by Cybermen also features in the, season, in the series two stories, Rise of the Cybermen, The Age of Steel, Army of Ghosts, and Doomsday, the series eight stories, Dark Water and Death in Heaven, and in the Doctor Who magazine comic, The Flood. A reference to Planet 14 is once again made in the 2017 finale, The Doctor Falls. And it'll close here. Thanks everyone, I appreciate it very immensely.